At first, he just paw at me for attention. Then at some point, he literally started complaining out loud. Like, hello, you haven't pet me in like 30 minutes. I need attention now. It was clear that Cairo was feeling bored. That's when I started entertaining the idea of getting him a friend. When I brought Sultan home, I split the apartment in half, so each of them would have their own separate space, but could still see and smell each other. Sultan was naturally curious and started exploring and playing with his toys right away. Cairo was intrigued, but also confused and a little standoffish. He would just look at Sultan like he was still making up his mind about him. They both definitely still had their guards up, but I knew I just had to be patient and take things slow. Toward the end of the first week, I realized that even though Sultan and Cairo were a little iffy about each other, they both still wanted attention from me. So I just sit down on the floor, pet Cairo with one hand and Sultan with the other. Eventually, they would both fall asleep near each other, which seemed to lower their defenses. Over time, Cairo started gently poking at Sultan with his nose and giving little kisses. And that's when I knew it was all gonna work out. I was so excited to see Cairo finally accept Sultan as part of our family. The first time I saw them playing was around the third week. Sultan suddenly stood up and started swatting at Cairo's face and he started to play back. A few days later, they were having full-on sparring sessions and the rest was history. They were officially best friends. It's been about five months now and their bond just keeps deepening and growing stronger. They're constantly finding new ways to play and show their love for each other. Now, Cairo has started sharing his bed with Sultan, and Cairo is not a cuddler. I don't think Cairo would let anyone else get away with this, but he does with Sultan. I love watching them together. Cairo has really grown into this loving older brother. Watching them has just brought me so much joy and laughter. The best part of witnessing Cairo and Sultan's friendship unfold was how quickly it deepened and expanded once that initial dam broke. Once they got comfortable, there was no going back. 